Hi everybody, it's your old pal Chuck, and I'm back once again with another G.I. Joe Creo review. Today, from the Wave 2 Blind Bag series, we're taking a look at Blowtorch. Blowtorch is a fantastic update to the classic look of the figure. Um, much like uh, um, Flash and even Torch the Dreadnought, um, Blowtorch's uh, gimmick is the intricate build for his weapon. As you can see, it basically has the backpack all the way through to the actual blowtorch unit, which is basically just one of the Creo guns with some extra parts built onto it and a flame effect that I'm sure has been around for a while. Um, much like uh, Flash, he does use this rubber tubing, which, as I mentioned, can be difficult to work with, but if you position the sockets properly, and play with the hose a little, you can get blowtorch to hold the blowtorch in a uh, reasonable position. Much better than the 25th anniversary figure, which was absolutely horrible, and of course, being re-released yet again in the 50th anniversary line. Articulation is your standard uh, for the Creo line. Swivel at the head, ball jointed shoulders, swivel at the hips, and ball jointed legs. Um, there are some, you might be able to find some of these Wave 2 figures out in the wild, but they are getting scarce. And unfortunately, Blowtorch does go for a bit of a premium on the secondary market just due to the extra parts. But it's definitely worth a pickup. I think it would go great for whatever Creo build or display you have going. As um, the flame effect adds a nice little bit of imagery. Um, I got this thanks to uh, my buddy from the Yo Joe forums, Scriptic well known in the online Joe community, so I do have to thank him again, as well as all the Wave 2 uh, blind bag figures. This is your old pal Chuck, for Blowtorch. We'll see you next time.